Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Come on over here just so you're, yeah. We're going to get in our little deal here, and we recognize why this walker is here. This walker is here so we don't have this event, right? It's here so we understand that a, a rotation is way more powerful than a linear motion, okay? And then we're going to do these freezers, and I've got this thing set up for a three-second delay. And here's what the freezers are going to look like. It's not, it's a, it's patient. We're going to put our thumbprint to the top right. We know where our, where our on tops are, that knuckle on the base knuckle of our left index finger. The heel pad is on top of the grip. The thumbprint is on the top right tube of the grip, okay? The right hand is supporting the valley of the right hand, is supporting that left thumb. The index finger of the right hand is the closest thing to the club head. So we're going to go into this kind of freezer mentality where we come back, we pause, and we hit. Or we miss. Whatever. Right? You get my point? Good. Then we put the paddle back. Now, this is very, as soon as you tap the paddle, even if you don't mean to, the ball is going to come out. Right? So come on back in. And we'll go through a few sets of these, okay? Okay, so hold the club up, yep. Bent back left wrist. Feel what muscles do that. Feel that is on top. And try to relax as best you can. I know you're feeling like you're... And go down, let's see. Yeah, you're squeezing like crazy. Okay, good. There you go. Now put the support that left hand with the right hand in a restful thumb. Good. Now put the club between that, that uh, spot, that little powder spot. Great. So we're just trying to develop. we got three seconds here to develop a nice little back swing that's, you know, we call freezers at P3. So take it back. Okay, I'm going to stop you. This ball is going to come out. Don't hit it. But it's going to be more here. You see what I mean? That's more the sensation. It's not something where we just drag a right arm back behind us. I feel like my right arm doesn't bend, Josh. Okay, go ahead and let's go ahead and okay, go ahead and hit that thing. Okay, lovely. Go ahead and put the hand, the uh, cradle back, or the paddle back. Good. Excellent. So do the whole thing again. Now, during your backswing, we're going to feel like our right arm doesn't really bend. It bends. I'm just not actively bending it. Okay, let me take a look. Okay. Now, you, you like to put it on top because that's how you laid the face shut before, okay? Well, now the face is shut because of the left hand, okay? No, no, relax. There. Good. Okay? So you got three seconds, okay? Long right arm. Go back. Wait for the peep. Awesome. Good. Do it again. Thumb print, thank you. Support, restful right thumb. Looking much nicer, mister. Club gently on between. There you go. Go back. Fantastic. Let's have a look at this. Way better. Way, way, way better. Okay. Miles better. Okay, so watch, look at the difference in the, is that my that was my okay. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Who, who's better? Okay. Yeah, way better. way better, okay, now these are freezers, okay, where you're at the top, I don't even really want you that, that, I mean your left arm's even, you know, higher than I wanted, I really only want your left arm here, and then, you know, a, a, a supportive right arm that has the sense of pushing, you know what I mean? But this event on the right, you know, you're going back and you're waiting, 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 ball 
gets presented, right? And you're hitting a shot, and it's pretty damn good. Okay, and you know, and here's a guy who keeps his head down a little too long. You know, you could be tucking those buns and watching the ball just a little bit sooner. So we're going to add a little element to this. Okay, let's get back up in there. Let me grab a smart ball. Here you go. Let me pop your through there. Good. Add a little bit of length to this. Go ahead and build your grip for me. Left hand bent, thumbprint. Get your on tops, knuckle, heel pad. Support a bit more. Support that thumb. Not don't twist over that thumb. Support to the side of it. There you go. You get me? Yep. Awesome. Good. Now see how that lanyard's got some length to it? Good. Let's go back a little bit and keep the land, lanyard long. Go back, make a half back swing. Good. So I'm going to take you. See how the lanyard's long? Nice. Don't yeah, don't overdo it, but you get the point, right? So and that's all we're doing. We're going to there. One, two, three. Ball comes hit. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Let's see it. So it's going to feel like a half swing for you, right? That's all it feels like. Bent back left wrist, probably you got to feel like you're exaggerating the crap out of that for now. Supportive right hand, not over the top, supportive. There you go. Good. Now show me just that little half swing, weight on it. One, two, three, weight. Awesome. Let's have a look. No, 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 no. That's okay. I loved it. Just You can just watch the TV while this thing replays, okay? So this is quite lovely. Let me find this uh, swing of yours from earlier. That's not it. This is it. Okay, so now on the right screen, we've kind of got you in a kind of a really organized freezer, okay? This is you waiting on the ball delivery, right? That looks like a tour player at the top, by the way. That really does. That guy can play golf. Okay, this guy at the top looks exactly how this guy plays. You're actually better than you, you, your scores are pretty good based on because you're a good athlete. Now you get looking, st you look stable like this dude on the right. Look out. Okay, now this guy on the right is going to play some re like see where the see where the club head is, see the lag, you know it, right? Well, and now we just got to learn how to follow the ball with our eyes and stand up properly because you're just a little bit late to the party there. Okay? Well, it's not coiled in too tight. So your question is, am I looking coiled in too tight? you got to understand that. So golf has these elements of, you know, back up into a backswing, which you're doing beautifully, into a freezer spot, right? Then there's an event of, you know, athletic event that kind of re-stabilizes you into your left side, which you do fantastic, okay? Your move here is epic. Okay, that's fantastic. That squatty punch you have right there. Then what you got to realize is everything else about golf is getting the hell away from the ground, creating room for long arms. And, what you, and the reason this ball comes out is you don't quite push yourself away from the ground long enough so your arms can stay long, right? You've got the that's stuck in the mid-high mid -high handicap to keep your head down, baloney, right? Okay, and that's why I want you to, you know, you know, letting yourself get tall and look at the ball sooner. Make sense? Good. So let's come back to this exercise. Yeah. You know, put your bent left wrist on there. It's going to feel very bent back to you. Get your on tops, heel pad. Let's have a look at that on tops. Yeah, I'm going to go down the club just a sliver. There you go. Good. Support. Ah, uh -uh, that's twisty over the top. There you go. Good. Yeah. You need to narrow your stance an inch. Don't have to be that wide, right? Okay, so your idea is you're going to, you know, cont contain that smart ball. Keep the lanyard kind of long. Wait for the beep. Gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Stupidly good. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, give me one more. Wait for the beep. Good.
Good. Go back. Wait for the beep. That's good. Cool. No, it's okay. Don't don't even judge that. Shit, you're you're doing fantastic. Okay. So we're gonna increase the rate of this a little bit, all right? So now, yeah, go ahead and put that back. So I'm gonna put you basically on a on a basic two to one. So backswing pace, pretty mild, and we're gonna increase the ball speed a little bit. Yeah, it'll come out, you know, so. Here's what it's going to look like. You go ahead and stand over there for a sec. Let me see if this makes any kind of sense for you. And I'll adjust as need be. Take a half step that way. Yeah. Right? So I'm not going to... It's going to come at you pretty quick, right? You're not going to be able to go all the way... You know what I mean? Yeah. So get ready to... You know what I mean? Okay. Come on in. All this confusion it creates learning. That's the beauty of it, right? And you'll miss, or you'll hit, or you'll whatever. Who cares? You just now again. We're coming back to bent left wrist, thumbprint on the top right part of the tube, supportive right hand. Okay, restful right thumb. That finger could be on the grip, couldn't it? Good, restful right thumb. Good. All right. So get ready to so see that white spot right there? Okay, that's your job, right? And do your best. You're, that's, I, I'll, I'll let you go with that. I mean, you'll, you'll get it. Okay. Good. Okay, that's good. Good awareness. Way to go. Narrow the stance up. Okay, good. Bent back left wrist, thumbprint. Your on tops are looking epic. I'm proud of you. They grew up so fast. Good, okay. Good try. Good, do it again. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Hands still not there. Yeah, a little bit. Ball's coming out. So see how you stay down too long right here? Right. Right. So we, our homework, you know, we're going to have that sense of I'm going to speed things up so you don't have that much time. We're going to make it faster, make it harder. Okay. okay, let's do it again. So I'm going to make the ball. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's see it. Put the, you know, get that bent back left hand on there. Feels really awkward. Good. Awesome. Right thumb. A little bit of, there you go. Good. Okay. Triggers faster. Ball's coming a little faster. Good. Really good. Hold on one second here. Good. Do it again. Okay. Bend back left hand, thumbprint. Okay, good. 
good try. Heel pad on top, thumbprint, bent left wrist. Listen for the beep. Okay, good. No, I turned it off for a second. I didn't want you to pause. I want you to, you know, because that's an, a really, a, that would be a legitimate practice swing. You see what I mean? Uh-huh. My practice swings by and large are fakey things. You know what I'm saying? Good. I've got it back. It's going gonna, it's gonna to send one now. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Good. A little closer to the ball, a little taller. A little, move the feet this way a little bit. Good. Okay, go for it. Good try. Okay. Let's just put a ball on the spot. Okay, narrow stance. Go ahead and cozy up that those arms on the on the smart ball. Bend back, thumbprint, come. Good. Okay, set up to the ball. Get a little closer to your work, a little too far away from it. Good. Just go ahead and hit one and hold your finish for me. It's brisk. Not big, brisk. Short and brisk. Yes. Come take a look. Big difference between long and sloppy and, you know what I mean, athletic and brisker, right? Hands starting to be passable, but not quite, right? I want to try to get this window just a little, this, this box, just a sliver skinnier. You know what I mean? Get you a little closer to your work. A little taller. Yeah, you're a little tipped over. So, yep, so the ball wants to come out there, doesn't it? Yeah, and that, so we're going to keep, we're going to, you know, do some freezers where it doesn't, like when we do complete freezers, that ball doesn't come out, does it? Because you have a chance to gather yourself and be conscious enough of that, that spot, don't you? Right? And so this ball's, you know, kind of floating around in there. It's not really in there, and the head's down a little too long, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll hit one, then we'll go outside and do some sweating. Okay, let me just grab this. No, you leave that on. You leave that on. Let me give it back to you. Yeah, my wife's playing in Ladies League today. She's like, oh, my God, 116. Brutal. My son's clubs are coming in today, so you know he's going to tear the box open once UPS gets there, and he'll be all playing, dying out there. So, you know, if I stay down too long, I'm, my brain's not going to let me smash this mat. I'm going to separate. You with me? So what we're doing with you is we're going to create a little bit more brisk on both sides of this thing. See how Ian Poulter's swing tempo I showed you is, is that, that length of time was a little quicker, okay? So as I hit this shot, club's off the ground. That's visibly bent back a little bit, right? Right hand supportive, it's not twisted over the top. Okay, so as I hit this thing, you know, ball's in there, right? The only reason I put a lanyard on so it doesn't blow away if it's windy outside. Okay, so here's a little swing, and this is, I mean, this this ball is used by, you know, tons of the world's best, and it's it's the oldest drill in the book, so I just made it light and put a lanyard on it, right, and so see how that, like, that's not some long, wild swing, is it, and so, you know, why can I manage the ball at the bottom, because I have, I, I set up with a decent radius for one thing, this measure from here to here is decent, that measure is decent, and then my left shoulder is getting up so that as I pass through here, I can be long, right? And so on the way down, 
Yeah, exactly. And that's a slingshot effect, right? So I'll leave that there and explain on this screen right here. So that position you see in the still still shot, you know, as I'm in this position there, right? But guess I'm, I'm as this is going up, the club's shooting out, right? If I just stay down and do this, I'm losing all that catapulting of using the ground and getting my shoulder up. And that's also what helps brush the grass nicely. All right, we don't want to take deep divots, we just want to brush the grass. Okay, let's uh, take your water bottle, let's get outside.